Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while here, but uh, I've been pretty busy, you know, with matters of life. But anyway, um, here I am bringing you yet another one. This one is on my uh, newly built AMD system. This is uh, just something that I took upon to build for testing uh, future AMD processors coming up in the future and also for doing, um, you know, experimenting here with memory, you know, uh, CPU overclocking, etc. So here it is. Um, I try to make it as neat as possible for you guys. You know, it's just so show it off there for the camera. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at it and see how we can overclock this thing as well as doing some benchmarking. All right. Stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, the first thing I want to look at here is the BIOS. This is the ASUS X470-F ROG Strix motherboard. This thing is packed with features. Enough for an overclocker out there looking to have some fun. You know, with this thing here, you get IR3555 MOSFETs on the VRMs, making it a, a strong uh, VRM for you. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you can get some pretty decent uh, overclocking done here with this thing. Uh, these are my timings that I used for tweaking out my memory. Uh, it's, uh, not only my primary times, but also my sub timings. Yeah, I did this using the Ryzen calculator. I have a video on my channel. If you're not familiar with this stuff, you may want to check out that video. So I'm going to show you here the voltages that I use for my CPU. As you can tell there, uh, I went at 1.425 volts for maintaining that uh, 4.2 gigahertz overclock and 1.395 volts on the memory. This is actually a 3600 megahertz XMP profile kit that I got for the sole purpose of tightening up the timings and the sub timings on the memory, which is important for Ryzen CPUs. So we're going to do some benchmarking here, starting off with the Cinebench. We get a pretty decent score here of 1400 and 63 points now because i am recording and you know i got other stuff going on in the background here i got a little bit lower here i got 1450 but um if you prioritize in a bench believe me you you get a higher score than this i'm using the corsair h150i pro rgb all-in-one water cooling solution but you really don't need this for overclocking a ryzen 52600 to 4.2 gigahertz an h100i or something in that you know in that range will suffice doing some ida 64 memory bandwidth tests you see here that we got a pretty decent score um, on the read we got uh, 54 uh, thousand megabytes a second on the right we got 50 let's see what that was 53 that over 53,000 points or over 53,000 megabytes a second right and copy we got over 50,000 uh, megabytes a second and we got a pretty good latency here of uh, 62 nanoseconds all right guys so let's do some video game benchmarking here and i'll let the numbers speak for themselves I like to include Crisis 3 in benchmarking because it, even though it is an older title, it'll still push your system pretty hard. So I'm um, including this title for the sole purpose of benchmarking.
Grand Theft Auto 5 is yet another older title, but I don't think a benchmarking video would be completed without it. And I know a lot of you who still play this game online. Uh, I myself, I'm still, you know, this is probably the only game that I still play. So yeah, I, for that reason, I've decided to include this. Alright guys, so here's the actual benchmarking results. This is an average of 3 runs for each game. As you can see, the AMD R5 2600 CPU is still the CPU king here in my opinion. I don't think Intel can compete at the price point. Until the new AMD Ryzen 3000 series CPUs come out, in my opinion, this is the CPU you should get if you're planning to upgrade your system anytime soon. Given that the AM4 platform is here to stay for quite some time, it will be a wise investment uh, going with AMD at this moment. Also keep in mind that AMD CPUs greatly benefit from fast memory. So a good kit of memory here, fast kit of memory, will definitely allow the CPU to stretch its legs even further. Anyway, this is all I have for now guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit thumbs up, subscribe for more content coming up, and I will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Bye.